Next, we look at the joints. Now, we're doing more of an overview of the joints and giving you an overall status of the degree of arthritis that you may have. So, the first thing I do is I look at this sequence right here. So, this is the right shoulder, and what I'm looking at are the bones. So, this is called the acromioclavicular joint of the right shoulder, and what we can see here is joint space narrowing, bony spurring going up and down, and this is typical signs of arthritis. Now, in this particular case, this is a moderate degree of arthritis. So this patient may experience pain. Then I go over here on this sequence and what I'm looking for is any kind of abnormal bright signal within the bone which can indicate swelling, edema. And then I'm also looking for abnormal fluid either within the joint or around the joint. And here we can see a little bit of fluid within the joint, but I don't see any swelling within the soft tissue around the joint and no fluid collections. Then we travel down and we look at every joint the same way. So here I go down further and I'm looking at the sacroiliac joints. So here's the right one and here's the left one. These look nice and smooth, no signs of bony erosions or any kind of swelling or bone marrow edema and no signs of sacroiliitis. So these are normal looking sacroiliac joints. Then I go to the hips and here's the right hip and here's the left hip. Now in this particular case, we don't really see much arthritis, but what we do see is bony prominence at the head neck junction of the right femur. And what that can do is that can predispose to a specific type of hip impingement, and it can hit the labrum here and cause damage. Now, it doesn't mean it will, but it is a risk factor for developing impingement. Then I go over here, and again, as I did in the shoulders, I'm looking for abnormal fluid either within or around the joint. And here we see some fluid within the left hip joint, and a little bit in the right hip joint as well, so small hip joint effusions. And then I travel down even further, and I'm looking at the knees, same way I did with the other joints. And here I can see the left knee, and here I can see the right knee, and I don't see any signs of bony spurring or joint space narrowing, so no significant arthritis here. And I go over to see if there's any abnormal fluid either within the joint or around the joint, and we see normal fluid in the joint and no abnormal fluid around the joint. 